to our channel. This is Sam, and you are watching Orchid Fortress. So, for today's video, we are going to be unboxing these stocks of fertilizers that I have been using for years. But the two fertilizers inside of this box is the first time that I will be using. So, these fertilizers um, came from Adidas Farm Supply. You can look up uh, her store in Lazada and Shopee so yeah I love buying um, orchid fertilizer and plants fertilizer in Adidas uh, farm supply because she packs her um, fertilizers very well and she is sending lots of freebies every time I order <laughs> so that's that's the perks. One of the perks if you have this suki or you have this relationship with the seller for quite some time because when you order from them, it's automatically you will be receiving some freebies. So let's open this box. I am not outside the garden because it's raining and it's cold. And I can't stand that. I prefer hot, warm weather. So, see, this is a freebie. I don't know what it is, but we will open this one later. So let's move on first with this. Um, oh, this is the uh, root hormone. So what I usually do when uh, an orchid arrive by a male is um, when I unbox them. I submerge the whole orchid, like everything, in a bucket for 30 minutes to an hour before I um, repot them to their forever pot or home. So, this is Anaa. I have been using this for quite some time, maybe three years, and it never fails me. Whenever I have new orchids, I submerge the orchid here in the solution of one tablespoon uh, in every gallon of water. Tablespoon, right? So, you have to remember that. Tab one tablespoon in uh, a pitcher or a little uh, a liter of water. So, and uh, you can take a screenshot of this so you can inquire if you have um, struggling orchids or orchids that are not in good condition when you received it, this one can help. Okay, next one. Okay, I guess this is the neem oil. Neem oil is a superb and a must-have in my toolbox. It's because I can use it to repel ants, aphids, but the ratio is just um oh it's so hard to ratio it because I, I kind of put you know a few drops maybe five drops of this neem oil in uh, a liter uh, a liter of water or a pitcher of water or a gallon and then i just sort of you know dash or drop some maybe um four to five drops yeah it can repel a lot it can help with trips, it can help with uh, millibugs, scales, everything. Um, ants, if you hate ants, then this is the, the answer. But uh, a disclaimer, if you wanted to use neem oil as a natural you know, repellent to slugs, snails, or bugs, or anything, trips, scales, in your orchid or in, in your plants in general, um, when you apply it, you apply it uh, during the afternoon when the sun is down and then you leave it, you leave the solution uh, up until 6 a.m. and then you rinse the plant and you keep the plant or you transfer the location of the plant in, in a shady um, location. Do not expose the plant that you just applied neem oil to direct sunlight or highlight because it will burn. Okay. So I ordered two of these things on. Oh god, the weather the weather right now makes, makes me so sad. 
two bottle of new oil. <sighs> I really hate bottle of oil. I'd rather... So I almost went on this one. So. Oh, okay. This is Adidas Farm Supply Calcium Nitrite. This is awesome, guys. Um, oh, I don't know if this is. Yeah, calcium. Calcium nitrite and the other one. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, magnesium. You know, guys, um, for years, I I am not using this commercial fertilizer. Not until Pablo's Ornamental Plant. I will be um, posting um, their page right there or anywhere in the screen but ever since this, these are the two that I have been using I am not uh, using you know the common um, uh, balanced fertilizers that are um, commercially available because what I have experienced is that I don't know maybe it's the mixture or the solution that I'm making with um, commercial fertilizers that my my roots are burning every time I water them but right now I am willing to give it a try because some of the uh, orchid master in the Philippines um, you know growers and um, breeders I, I talked to them I sent them a DM and they responded on or they helped me to um, put up a solution that can work uh, that that is working already for them and that can also work for me but for years these are the two that I only use so I never uh, mix them together when I uh, when I apply for example um, this week I will be applying this magnesium sulfate this is sort of like um, a salt if you have your orchid or if you have orchids that are turning yellow or their leaves are getting yellow without any pest or without any um, rot it means I, I don't know but um, for some reasons when I apply Epsom salt or magnesium sulfate um, to those yellowing orchids leaves they turn green again <laughs> after I use this so uh, what I do is I um, I, I, uh, um, I apply uh, for example um, Epsom salt for this week okay two times uh, this week I will be applying Epsom salt uh, two times two times um, this week and then after next week I will be using calcium nitrate okay so um, this is um, let me try to focus a little bit um, add uh, a tablespoon of calcium nitrate to three liters of water so what I do um, if this is uh, one tablespoon of calcium nitrate or uh, I uh, instead of three liters of water I add uh, I make it four liters of water in uh, a tablespoon. So I, I that's what I usually do. I often, or I, I add a liter of water to the solution that is um, advised in in the packaging. So calcium and Epsom salt. These are the two. Epsom salt for yellowing leaves. Calcium for when um, the, the plant is having cakes and is having you know buds this is what I apply but for maintenance these are the two that I always these are these these are the combo that I always do this is my go-to so let's move on with the suggestion because some orchid master or grower or breeder in the Philippines I talked to them, I mentioned I talked to them, and then they told me that, oh no, you should be using a balanced fertilizer, not just um, Epsom salt or calcium. Because the reason is that um, it is not balanced at all because it's just calcium and magnesium or salt, Epsom salt. But this is what they recommend to me. This is the Peters Professional Water Solu Soluble fertilizer um, this is the 2020 so um, when I told them that so um, when I told them 
you know, these um, people from uh, Philippine Orchid Society, when I told them that I am not using commercial fertilizer because of my trauma about burning root tips. So they told me that you can give it a try. You can um, buy Peter's uh, General Purpose 202020. And then if it's instructed to be, uh, to be one tablespoon per four um, liters of water, then you can add two or more um, liters of water. So um, the less uh, less is more when it comes to orchid. That's what I tell them. Uh, uh, that's what they told me. So I'm giving it a try. So, anyways, guys, um, I guess this will be all. Uh, again, I bought these um, orchid fertilizers in Adidas Farm Supply. So, yo, I almost forgot the freebie. So this is what we were talking about, guys. Adidas sometimes drop some, you know, free seeds. Mustasa. This is uh, mustasa. I don't know what is, what is mustasa in English. <laughs> Keeping research here. So another another fertilizer, um, high nitro, thirty ten ten. So um, Mr. Almar told me that high nitro is um, the high nitro or nitrogen um, oh, I'm so sorry I'm messing this up um, but this is this is the nitrogen um, that can be uh, readily absorbed by the plant or your orchid so it's better than the typical nitrogen that's what he told me so I'm I, I'm totally new to these commercial um, fertilizers but I'm willing to give it a try because you know nothing wrong well um, if the risk is high then the reward is high too right so laban lang laban japan lang let's try these two okay I guess that will be all guys thank you so much for tuning into our channel so I will be arranging these so I can use this as a thumbnail to our video. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.